Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to my Thermomix kitchen. And today I'm gonna make a carrot, a curried carrot soup. And I thought I'd make a little video and show you how I do that. So to get started, we are gonna chop up some ginger and garlic. And I have like a two inch, uh, well, it's like a one inch piece of ginger and a couple gloves, gloves of garlic that I've peeled. Um, I have my lid ready, so we'll turn this on and just drop it in and then you can hear it when it's done and you can hear that it's done. So we'll turn it off and we'll have a look. Everything's nicely chopped up. So the next I have, I have half of a large onion, so um, you know, one small one whatever you happen to have on hand should come to really yeah I got about, about 200 grams of onion uh, that's a lot more than I expected oh well so, you know, uh, oh. and then I have a pound of carrots and these are nice organic carrots that I got from my CSA community supported agriculture so I didn't even bother peeling them it'll all get chopped up in here anyhow and then we'll put on the lid and the measuring cup and we'll go on five and that sounds about good and we'll puree everything when we're when we're done with it anyhow so um, you can see it it's fairly small chops so it doesn't matter, you know, I mean, you don't want to turn it into soup now and then cook it. You want to have some texture left to it um, while you cook it. And now I'm going to add some butter and I just happen to have a chunk of butter here. And that came in at 45 grams, so about 54, you know, 45, 50 grams of butter. I'm going to put the rest of this off here. Don't want to get, let it go to waste. And then I'm going to add a, about, the, about a teaspoon of curry powder. All right, so that's all of that. Now I'm going to cook this on 100. Um, let's go for 10 minutes. So what we're going to do and speed one the lid on the uh, measuring cup on because what we want to do here is, is to melt the butter and to start to soften the carrots and the onion and then uh, in 10 minutes I'll come back and we'll add some chicken stock uh, or water or vegetable stock whatever you have on the hand and we'll finish cooking it and then we'll come back and puree everything and then it's time to eat it's a uh, simple setup so see you in a bit Alrighty, so here we are. Ten minutes are up. Let's see what's going on inside of this pot. And everything looks nice and ooh, hot, uh, softened. And I'm gonna I'm gonna move everything aside. Make sure everything looks okay there on the bottom. Make sure all the anything that was on the sides comes down. So at this point, I also wanna. So now we're going to add the liquid and then I'm also going to add some salt and I'm going to start with the stock that I have doesn't have any uh, salt in it so this is probably about a half a teaspoon so that's where I'm going to start um, if you're using because my stock is a homemade st chicken stock and if you're using something out of a can or a pouch or carton or whatever it probably has salt in it so you have to you know start off with a little bit and see where it goes so I'm gonna weigh this but what I want to do is um, there's marks back here um, on your in your thermomix and this one you can probably not see it but there's one for half a liter a liter one and a half liters and two liters and the one up right about here is for two liters and so I'm gonna pour the stock in to get to about the one liter mark And since that would mean I would have just a little bit left over, I poured in just a little bit more and so I might get, you know, a little bit over a liter. So that was about a liter of stock that I added. 
Um, so now um, I'm going to cook this for another, let's go with 15 minutes. And then we'll puree it and then we can serve it. And then that's it. So 15 minutes on 100 degrees, speed one. That's all it takes. Okay, so here we are. The uh, 15 minutes are up. Let's turn this off. Have a look. Nice and steamy. I want to make sure at this point that the vegetables have been cooked well because otherwise the soup isn't going to taste that great when you get hard chunks of carrots instead of nice pureed soup. And I have to say this looks good. So I'm going to blend this up now and then it's basically ready. So start on a six. minute let's turn it off everything looks good hot 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 yeah it's great it's a great looking soup I'm gonna give it a try real quick see if it maybe needs a little bit more salt some pepper would be good too no I think this one is great so I will let you see what it looks like when I have it in a plate and as always Please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel so that way you can be notified when I post more videos. And if you have something in particular you want to know how to make in the Thermomix, leave me a comment or send me a mail and I will see that I can figure it out and show you how. Thanks and have a great day.